is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today what I want to do is share with you guys a uh, question that a viewer had about uh, vaping to me. Um, and I've been asked this question before, or similar, I think in the past. And I've been asked about vaping just in general if I vape. Um, so I'm going to tell you what the question is and then we'll get into, you know, discussing my answer. <laughs> so um, what I have to smoke on today is a strain that is called um, Animal Cookies. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. And I did a strain review on that, so you can check that out in the video that's in the video library by now. <laughs> I've been doing a series of videos to all day today, so here we go. So this is what it looks like. This is uh, Animal Cookies. Here we go. Oops, I'm holding it up right. So anyway, you get the point. It's cannabis. <laughs> So here we go. Cheers, everyone. Decided to use my pipe, my little uh, kind of Willy Wonka ish pipe, I guess I'd say. <laughs> Cheers. It's a bamboo pipe. This is a really good strain. Really good strain for relieving stress, that's for sure. <coughs> <clears throat> All right, let me get on to the question. I have something to drink though first. I'm drinking turmeric and ginger tea today. All right, so the question, this question comes from a viewer subscriber by the name of Outdoor Smokesman 802. Thank you for the question. Um, have you have you tried vaping your dry herb? You get high twice. You have your smoke sesh, aka vape sesh, then empty your vaping device out and save the material. And when you're out of flour, you can make edibles. Um, out of flour, you can make edibles out of the already been vaped flour. The edible works just as well as regular edibles. You get most for your dollar. So, um, I've tried a vaporizer, yes, a long time ago. The first time I tried a vaporizer it was over 15 years ago, I believe. It was from a woman who uh, had just, I mean, not just, but had a double mastectomy. She had breast cancer, and she got a medical cannabis rec recommendation, and she was able to partake of cannabis to treat her condition. So, um, <clears throat> I had injured my ankle, my left ankle, uh, a long time ago and she happened to be there <laughs> and it I think I it twisted my ankle sprained my ankle because it swelled up the size of like a huge like a, it was bad it was very painful she took me over to her house and propped me up and let me try her vaporizer and it was okay um, she did tell me that I think she did tell me that it uh, burned up herb really a lot so um, I think that might be a drawback. I'm not saying that all vaporizers are like that because I don't know. I'm not an expert on vaporizers. So, um, yeah, I, could, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but uh, vaporizing, um, I have had another experience with vaporizing, and that was when uh, I lived with this, uh, with an, had a roommate recently, not recently, but I had a roommate last year in the living situation I was in and she used to like using a vape pen and every now and then she would offer me some puffs on her vape pen so I've tried that type of vaporizing I don't have a vaporizer myself vaporizers are too expensive for me I don't I can't afford that I I just can't that's just another expense that I can't pop up on um, I don't have the funds as of now to buy a vaporizer <clears throat> um, it would be nice to have different uh, you know, ways of smoking. I don't feel that vaporizing is any safer than smoking a joint or a bong or a pipe or dabbing. I don't feel like vaporizing is 
safer than any of these. I think it's how you, you know, I think it's how you approach it. When I say how you approach it, I mean, um, what's your intention for smoking when you start smoking? If it's just to get high, then I can see, you know, I mean, but some people, they like to get high because it makes them feel better than being low. So there's a stigma about that whole word getting high, or that phrase getting high, that that's really something that people do when they're lazy or they have you know, nothing better to do with their life or they just don't want to get on with their life's plan on this planet. But I think that a lot of people probably need to be elevated more than most because their surroundings may be depressing, their surroundings may be frustrating, and they may need some help with ad adapting to the situation that they are in. So I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to elevate yourself higher. Um, yeah, but when I smoke cannabis, I'm thinking about, I have an intention. What is it that I'm using for? Am I using it to alleviate pain, stress, anxiety, to stave off an, a panic attack? Am I using it for the sharp shooting pains in my knees and my ankles? Um, I have a purpose each time, and I'll, I'll smoke just so I can um, have a good night's rest. So I've never tried the whole um, what you talked about so, because I ne never got a vaporizer, so I never tried the what you were talking about. What was it? I guess so many notes over here. Oh, right. emptying your device, vaping device out, and save the material. It's kind of the same as with uh, of dabbing which I experienced, I emptied out the reclaim and um, dried it and saved it and then smoked the reclaim. And it was even stronger, seemed like, than the the first time around. So I did like that because I like effective medicine that's going to help me. It's something that's natural and not, you know, some synthetic pill or something. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I've never tried, uh, I mean, I never bought a vaporizer don't own one, um, and I don't plan on getting one right away unless I have the funds to do so. I have priorities, and the priority is definitely um, what working with what I've got. I've got a dab rig now, so that's another option. I've got a hookah, which is run, you know, is getting run through water, which I like, and I've got pipes, and I've got joints. So um, eventually in the future, I'll probably get... Um, a vaporizer, like I said, but it's not on my priority list. But I do like hearing the suggestions of how you can use kind of like this. It's like the material almost reclaim, same kind of thing from uh, but from a vaporizer. And you're saying you could use it to make edibles with, and that's really cool because I like to make edibles as well. So, yeah. So anyway, I just thought I'd come by and answer that question for you, for those of you who are curious and for um, Outdoor Smokesman802, thanks for the question again. Um, feel free to send me your questions via email. Uh, if you want to support this channel, you can even donate to my channel and um, I will make a video specifically based on a topic of your choosing. I want to stick with talking about cannabis and psychedelics for this channel. So um, if you want to donate, you could go to, um, my PayPal is acting kind of screwy, so you can go to my Google Pay, and I'll put that in the link in the description below. Um, I'll have you, you could contact me, you know, and just tell me what it is that you would like to see, see um, put on the show. So thank you so much for joining me for today's show. I'm really feeling this, um, this animal cookie strain. <laughs> Check out the review I did on it. It's um, it's very interesting what I found out about it. So, um, and I think you'll enjoy it too if you're a cannabis connoisseur <laughs> and a productive one. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.